Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to windowsreport.com. In this video, I will show you how to solve your SSD not showing up problem. SSDs are a new type of storage units that emphasize speed and stability. Method 1. If the SSD won't show up in my computer, what you have to do is press the Windows plus R keys on your keyboard, then you have to type diskmanagement.msc and press enter. Then you have to identify your SSD drive inside the list and select it. Right click on your SSD drive where the name is located and then initialize disk. This will format the drive. Choose between the bootable MBR or storage device GPT then click OK. This will depend if you want to use your SSD as a bootable drive or not. Then right click the HDD size of your SSD, then choose new simple volume. Select the needed space, because the default will be the size of your SSD. And then, in the format partition window, choose NTFS. Follow the on-screen instruction to finish the setup. If the SSD won't show in disk management, what you have to do is turn the PC off Unplug all the other drives connected to your PC. Connect your SSD to SATA port 1. Then use a Windows disk or USB to start the Windows installation on it. This will give you access to the disk partition section. Format the SSD. Cancel the installation of your Windows and check to see if disk management recognizes your SSD. The Kingston SSD won't show up. If your Kingston SSD won't show up on your Windows 10 machine, it's recommended that you try connect it to another PC and see if it works. In the case that the SSD is recognized by the other machine, you will need to follow the steps presented in the first and second methods of the article link that I will post in the description below. If you find that the Kingston SSD is not showing up there either, then it is safe to assume that your SSD has failed. If the SSD is still under warranty, you can contact Kingston for more help. If your new SSD won't show up and it will not be recognized by your computer, you need to follow the methods mentioned in the article link that I will post in the description below. And if you performed all the steps mentioned above and it's still not recognized, please contact the manufacturer for support. If none of this helped you, make sure you read the full article in the description below. And if it did help you, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.